Sitting out in the Gulf, some 26 miles off the Louisiana coast, are the chandeliers. A string of tidal islands that somehow has escaped the 20th century and survives today as one of the richest coastal ecosystems left in North America. Fed by rich nutrients filtering down from the Mississippi Delta and shaped by the Gulf's powerful tides, the chandeliers are a paradise for light tackle anglers. A perfect place where the living is easy and the fish are almost always jumping. I'm Gritz Gresham and I've known the chandeliers practically all my life. Last summer I came here with a couple of down-home buddies. Terry Bradshaw, quarterback for the world champion Pittsburgh Steelers. Blasted a little bit on me. And tackle manufacturer Lou Childers. Let's get out there and get out. We came to poke around in the surf, to catch a few fish, and share a laugh or two. The school of specks and the school of redfish right off the point right there. And there were a few sharks swimming around them. A few what? A few sharks. Well, they're just little bitty sharks, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll string them from the back. <laughs> we're going to hang the stringer on you. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard about the shark and the, and the stringers before. They won't hurt you. Just uh, stay away from them. You, know. you see the school of mullet when we're coming in? Yeah. And every now and then, a shark will come through those schools of mullet. Look, I see them jumping way out there. The kind of hang together, what, a protection or is it a... Well, it's kind of a herd instinct, I guess, you know. I don't like those sharks. I don't mind telling you. Let's get after it. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, I tell you, I'd, I'd love to catch one of those big son of a guns right now. You see that get out there? Awesome. What are you fishing, Luke? A little bait that uh, my lure designer come up with. Oh, yeah. Luke, got him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got the first one. What we have on that first fish? We had about a dollar on the second fish. Oh, a dollar <laughs> on the second fish. Hey, fellas, I believe I'm getting the wrong end of this what deal. Got? Hey, that, that's a nice trout. Oh, this is a... Lou, you got a fish? Yeah. This is oh, a fighting son of a bitch. Look at that. You got hey, a pompano. Hey, you got a pompano. You got a pompano. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, you don't you... do that many times. Now, oh, honestly. well, I do the impossible Ooh. every now and then. Yeah, you do, huh? You got the best eating fish in this ocean. That's a right. permit, isn't it? But it's a pompano. A pompano. This is a no, nice trout here. You better come over with that stringer. Cause right. Yeah. That's a hey, nice what, trout. Hey, what? He's hard to hold. He already. Right hold him there. tight. Hey, you got him now. Yeah. All right. Boy, that's a dandy. Oh, let me see that trout. That is a dandy, boy. That's old yellow that's mouth. Nice. See how yellow his mouth yeah. is? What is that from? That's well, that's what they do on the one there. I'll tell you, y'all treat me poorly, man. I'm going to have to catch one, too. We're going to let Grant associate with us. That's terrible. I don't know. He better catch a fish right. pretty fast. Oh, that... huh? mm. You know what that is? That's skill in science against superstition and ignorance. I believe so. <laughs> I like that school of mullet there, Terry. I like it. I tell you, I wish mullet would fight or it wouldn't hit, you know? If you were a big shark, wouldn't you like to go through that school mullet. of mullet with your mouth open? Uh-oh. What was that? Tarpon. Look at a tarpon. Nice little shark. Woo! I'm going to have a heart attack if I see something come at me like that, and I say, look at the tarpon, and y'all say, when he leaves, that was a shark. <laughs> I'm going to punch him with my rod. <laughs> It don't make that sound. Coming back there. from a fish. There he comes hey, come for you, Terry. <laughs> there you go. It's time for lunch break. See, y'all be getting this. This is fine here. <laughs> I'm gonna lose ten pounds out here. You know, I guess I've done just about every kind of fishing there is, from blue marlin to coho salmon, and I've loved every blessed minute of it. But after 40 years, I know now that being with guys like Terry and Lou and just messing around down on Chandelier Island is the finest sport there is. Whoever said you can't go home again never went fishing. I got the baby. Oh, 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 oh. looky here, looky oh. here, looky here. I got it. I got the baby. Good gosh almighty, look at this. What have I got? <laughs> you may have a mullet. I hooked, I foul hooked the mullet. That's a whiting. Let's keep him. This one? Yeah, to eat. Let's keep him to eat. He got a big whiting, too. Let's keep him to eat. Isn't that a mullet? Really a whiting. You want to stick him on the stringer? Yeah. Will he fin you or anything? He's got a... Hmm. Let me get this deal on this side. I got him. He's a delicious fish, so yeah. I prefer him over anything except the pompano. 
Well, I got you. Now. <laughs> Does anybody catch a fish like that, you ought to throw him back there. Hey, listen. Oh, I, oh, he did. Oh, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to do. Now, yeah, that's a real sport. You can smile you, on the outside, a, but I'm dying inside. You're just a true conservationist. Oh, oh, you got a oh what do you oh, got? That's a little trap. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, that's a blue fish. Blue fish. Yeah. Oh. He's got the variety. Well, let's see, we've got to get that joker. Well, let's, we finally got something different. Yeah, there's a blue boy. I don't want to get him in the mouth. No, put your hands across it. That's good. Do they migrate in here in the summertime or what? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, summertime. They stay up till about November, and then they usually leave. You really catch more bluefish here in the wintertime than you do the summer, don't you? Well, around the passes, though, it's good all summer. Yeah. I tell you, he's a jumping dude. Lou, what's the biggest blue you've caught in here off Chandelier? Oh, about six pounds, Grit. Six, seven, maybe. Well, let's get that six pounds. Mm. You know, these waves are getting tough, getting high and high. You don't mind getting wet, though. That sounds to me like a loaded question. Seems like you've gotten wet on this show before. <laughs> <laughs> That had oh, to be. I, I may have been wet once. When you went out of the boat after that rod down that tarpon fishing, it had to be one of the funniest things that's ever been done on this show. And one of the most embarrassing to me. Well, what I want to know is, why in the world did you do that? You know, early in the show, they were teaching me how to roll the line down on the, on the bow of the boat so that when the tarpon hit on this fly rod, the line's got to come up uniformly yeah, it has to right. come up right on through the eyes and everything got to have it big, smooth, call yeah, smoothly you get a bird's nest down there and and uh, it comes up in one big mass and it hits your reel and it'll just rip the rod out of your hand that's what happened well yeah i i had it what i thought was pretty well stacked down there and when this big tarpon hit i mean he was big when i got him on the rod and i just knew i had it because he made the jump and i I said, I got it. Boy, you, this this is the one, you know? Got the and I had him, boy, and I had him like that. And he made that run. And when he made that run, all that line had come up and wrapped around my hand and had the rod, had a free, had the rod with one hand. Yeah. And he just made a run, and there was nothing I could do. And he just whopped that thing out of my hand. I had the line in one hand. Pick it up, put it on, you can wave it. He's turn coming, he's coming. You got it, you got it. There you go. There you go. That's the way to go, That's baby. It. That's what, I, that's what I call a friendly, that's what I call a scrambling quarterback, huh? That's what I call giving yeah. a business. Here, take it. <laughs> I've seen everything now, Bob. <laughs> tarpon make you do strange things, won't they, Terry? Oh, Lord. There's your first big tarpon hook, baby. <laughs> only, only, it's the only time I've ever seen a fish take you. <laughs> Most people thought that you just went out after the rod. No. Well, you know, Kurt Gowdy, that's what he thought. Yeah. He actually thought when we got in that evening, he was telling the story like Terry went in to get my rod. Yeah. And I had to hold it, Kurt, hold it. That it. I went in after that fish to heck with that rod, <laughs> and he couldn't believe it. I said, no, that's, you know, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. I was going after the fish. Oh, Redfish. Oh, Redfish. Ooh, I had, I had, there you see it, Redfish? Yeah. Is it Redfish? Ooh, 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 ooh. Big trout. No, oh, that's small red. Show it. Sure, yes, sir. Got two pound red. Oh, look at that. What you got? I don't know. What you got? What you I got? Think, that's a nice little red. Excuse me, Griff. Hey. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Oh! <laughs> look at this. All right. About two pounds? Yeah. Yeah, seven and a half. And easy to take good, the hook out. Good, good, that's right. <laughs> hey, you got a good, that's a good trout. Let's you want to let him go or kick well, I think you might as well let him go, don't you think? What, we we, we got enough to eat. The fish we eat tonight, we caught in the ocean today. Slept in the Gulf last night. 
I don't know where that landed, but... Later on, after lunch, the fishing slowed down as the tide slackened. So Lou flew us to a neighboring island that had been designated as a federal bird sanctuary. Terry had never been there before, and let me tell you, it was something to see. But Terry, these, most of these gulls are like, not the gulls that we see in inland most of the time. These are laughing gulls. Just look at this. Look at the bird. This is, look at this. Like this. Look at that. Hey, loud. Yeah, look at that. Look at that egg right here on bare ground. Right there. Oh, oh. We running them off their nest? Yeah, they're coming right back down, though, see? Look at this. That's quite a sight. Let's go catch some fish. A little later, the surf began to roll once more, and it started all over again. Sometimes all three of us would have a fish on, and each one a different species. Redfish, blues, weeks, fighting, pompano, you name it. On the chandeliers, you just never know what you'll come up with. Do you believe this? Hey, guys, now just to tell me what kind of fish that's supposed to be. I ain't touching that song, They're going to risk it. <laughs> hey, oh, that's a, nice that's boy a good blue fish, I'll tell you for sure. Clip on my fish. You bet. Did like Kalita Ben, I didn't care what you got on that head. You got a nice fish. Man, I tell you what, that's a strong son of a gun. Look at this job. Ooh, that's boy, a good fish. That no, I don't care where in the world you go, there's no finer place to be than Chandelier Island. But to have fun here, you should be blessed with a few basic appreciations. You gotta like the feel of cool ocean water around your leg. The sand under your feet, fresh air, sunshine, and the soft curl of a wave breaking on shore. seems to be moving faster than time itself, the Chandelier Islands keep going at their own natural pace. If you ever go there, you'll discover how easy it is to slow down and move with them.